This is Xterra Planet. Soaring the skies of Oahu's scenic North Shore. Beautiful white sand beaches, magnificent lush greenery, and crystal blue water. Just a snapshot of what Paradise Air offers passengers in an unforgettable flight. Powered hang gliding to me is the closest you can get to feeling like flying like a bird. The wing is so easy to fly and you're out in the open air. It's very, very similar to non-powered hang gliding. That's why it's so much fun. It's just pure flight. Flying the ultralight is a very peaceful, sort of mellow experience. Watching the sun come up over the Ko'olau mountain range, looking at the different colors of water on the beautiful beaches below, and it just kind of cruises very gently through the sky. We can go to the highest point on the island, we can go to the tallest waterfall on the island, fly low across the water, go up high above the clouds and the mountains. There's nothing that really limits us. It's a very, very powerful, smooth, safe aircraft. It's just no finer way to enjoy the North Shore of Oahu than flying in a powered hang glider. Clear prop! We've got an 80 horsepower engine and a comfortable cockpit. Wheels makes it easier for landing the hang glider and uh, gives us the opportunity to fly in any calm weather conditions. We don't have to rely on thermals or ridge lift. We kind of look at it as like a Harley with wings. Come on over to the aircraft. I'll tell you a little bit about it. This is pretty much the Ferrari of ultralights. Flying in an airborne XT 2 c trainer is more than just a scenic tour. It's an education. Paradise Air, Oahu's only powered hang gliding facility, encourages passengers to get behind the controls and experience hands-on flying. Want to give it a try? Oh, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead and take a grip there. Take a grip there. And let's try a right turn. So with your right hand, pull in towards oh, us. There you right go. Hand. And you see how, you, see, see how you're pulling in? Yeah. There you go. And then once this turn starts, you can back off because it'll pretty much just keep following that heading. Every uh, flight is a lesson. We do the takeoff and the landing, and depending on a person's comfort level, they can fly the entire flight. It's very, very fun and easy to fly. Now what I want you to do is just let go. Just let go. Something's going to happen. Even though we're not even smooth there, you can see it just bumping around. Okay, go ahead. Take it. I think the neatest thing about this type of aircraft is that it's weight shift. It has no control surfaces. There's no rudder, there's no elevator, there's no ailerons, there's no rudder stick. We basically fly this by shifting our weight, just like a hang glider. It's very, very simple. We just simply pull our weight to the right, and it will turn to the right. We pull our weight to the left, and it will turn to the left. So everyone from our youngest person at 12 years old to so far our oldest at 85, they've had no difficulty flying it. So we're instructing them at the same time they're getting to enjoy a beautiful place with uh, spectacular scenery. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, Tom let me fly quite a bit. Uh, most of the way back uh, from Turtle Bay I get to fly. And you just hold your hands out uh, and, uh, and, and do the steering and uh, it, it was very fun. I got to do some nice little uh, uh, turns and climb and dive a little bit. It was a very cool trip. Very cool. And then straighten us out. Oh, I'm going back. No. <laughs> People do sometimes. We're going have... down. <laughs> it's instructional. It's great. I, I mean, you're hands on. You're, you're, I wasn't great, but I learned how to steer <laughs> and I finally got it down properly. So, yeah, you're, you're learning how to fly the, the glider too. So, it's just, oh, it's wonderful. I like turning them on to flying. I love teaching them. I love showing them just how easy it is to fly this weight shift aircraft and letting them take the controls and just seeing that light go on and feel their excitement with them. If they're nervous about it at first, once they get up in the area and they start flying it and really feeling what the aircraft is all about, they come down with a whole new appreciation for flying powered hang gliders. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that this is a powered hang glider but it doesn't need a motor. In the mornings when the airport is quiet, the skydivers haven't started going, the sailplanes aren't going, and we pretty much have run of the airport, we'll go up to about 3,000 feet and just turn off the engine because it's fun, it's quiet, and it's really, really similar to hang gliding. We just have a little faster descent rate at that point. 
is Gillingham. We copy. Seven Tango Sierra's turning the power off for a power off landing. Gillingham. Oh, my. Here we go. Don't worry, I do this every morning. <laughs> so we don't need the engine to fly. We have a hang glider. And then beyond that, we have a rocket deployed parachute. We're the only aircraft on the entire field that has that level of safety. For Tom and Denise Sanders, flying powered hang gliders is a natural extension of their adventure-seeking lifestyle. Both are expert skydivers and base jumpers, which means they leap from tall objects on purpose. Tom is one of the world's foremost skydiving cinematographers. I'd have to say my main business for the last 25 years has been jumping out of airplanes with a big movie camera on my head. Uh, filming commercials and feature films, doing exhibition jumps like into the Olympics in Seoul, Korea. So some pretty, pretty demanding uh, skydive. And to me, this is like my semi-retirement job. I still do those projects, but for me to go fly around in a powered hang glider with wheels and perfect communication with my passenger and uh, full instrumentation, it's just such a safe, easy, fun thing for me to do. It's just kind of like my retirement job for the next 20, 30 years. 